Hey guys, welcome back to Hoffman Leatherworks. Today we're going to be doing a, a very simple pattern, and of course this pattern will be available on the Etsy store, on the website, all over. Um, but we'll start off just like we always do. We'll go ahead and print the pattern on an eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper. It'll be a, a PDF file printed at a hundred percent, but it's for a a nice little leather checkbook cover. So we'll get everything uh, printed out and cut out and we'll grab some leather. I like to use um, a little bit thicker leather for the outside, a little thinner on the inside. But really, you know, you can use anything. And, you know, using Veg Tan, this gives you a great opportunity to do a, you know, tooling on it. And so it's a real quick pattern and you know a great way to to sell some products or just to make you know for gifts it's it's it turns out really nice with or without tooling but um you know having the pattern just makes it a little bit easier you don't have to to worry about the size or where the whole locations are so here we'll go ahead and grab a 1.5 millimeter punch and now that we got the pattern taped to the leather We'll um, just go ahead and punch out all the holes. These are spaced at um, six millimeter, and I punch them at one point five. You can you know use anything you want. And then I use a a one millimeter waxed thread. So we'll just go ahead and, and punch all these holes. Again, great little pattern. You can pick it up at the Etsy store at HoffmanLeatherworks.com. But like I said, it just makes your life a little bit easier to have an actual pattern. Of course, you can use it as many times as you as you want. So now we'll go ahead and now that we got all the the holes punched, we'll go ahead and and uh, cut this out. It's um. I use a utility knife on this, you know, people, I, you know, watch a lot of videos and see a lot of things on there and talk about having to have a leather knife and all this stuff. No, use a utility knife, man. The blades are cheap, you know, cut, cut a little bit, it gets a little dull, boom, put a new blade in, except they're super cheap. And I probably got 10 of these utility knives laying around my shop and there's always one there. So... Just don't need to spend that kind of money on a name brand leather knife. So we'll go ahead and get this all cut out. This I'm just going to um, put a little Needs Foot Oil on it. I really like like doing that. You know, it makes a leather nice and soft and and stuff but it also I like the color it's you know it does change change the color a bit but I really like it and and actually on this project since the inside two little panels were out of a different leather it gave me a you know a different look you kinda never know what you're gonna get but um, I think it turned out you know pretty cool so at this point dye it stain it leave it natural needs foot oil olive oil I just prepare the leather at this point you can do it after it's stitched you can do it before for me it just kinda depends on timing if I have other projects going on you know I th that kinda dictates how and when I do stuff but said the dauber on the on this isn't uh, always the best way to do you get some streaking but I, I give it two or three coats and, and that usually is fine then I'll I'll wait a while again depending on workload few hours few days you know whatever I need to do it's 
not uh, not rocket science. You can always just do it however it works for you. You know, you'll always get a a really nice final product. And like you just saw there, I, I um, whether I'm dyeing it or just putting oil on it, whatever, I usually do the centerpiece on the, you know, the actual cover itself because you do see that when you open up the, the checkbook itself. So you can do the whole thing or just that little strip in there. And again, for me, I kind of just do whatever is working at the time. So you can see here I'm giving it several coats of Needs, needs Foot Oil. And I'll rub them down and let them sit till I get time to, to stitching. This is not too bad. I think it takes about, you know, maybe a half hour to saddle stitch. So it goes fairly quickly. Here I'm just kind of doing the edges. It's been stitched. I'll sand the edges. finish them up and away you go remember to uh, hit the like button subscribe and uh, the pattern will be available all over and in the description of this video thanks guys